Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Excel Video 116. I'm Nate Moore. We're done with sparklines for now, so we're back to things that you can do in prior versions of Excel. You had to have Excel 2010 to do sparklines. Now we're back to some um, kind of tricks and kind of clever charts is what I want to do now for the, uh, the next little while in this Excel video series. And I'm going to start with a thermometer chart where I've just got a simple um, bar chart here that's tracking EHR implementation progress. And I can change one number right here to make my progress go up and down. Would that uh, EHR implementation progress was uh, that easy. But let me show you today how I'm making this chart drive off of this cell. And then it's an easy thing that you can add to dashboards. If I select the chart, I can easily make it you know, a whole lot smaller or uh, you know, to fit inside a dashboard. I can move it around like this. Let's come back and undo. And uh, let me show you how to create one of these. So let's maybe just kind of create it next door, say right here for the time being. So what I'm going to do is um, uh, let's let's highlight this cell and just we'll make both cells drive off this 55. I'm going to insert a column chart, and now let's walk through the steps to make this look like that. Well, there's there's clearly a bunch of things we have to do, and well, where do we start? Let's just go to the Layout tab and start turning a few things off. Um, maybe the first thing we can do, let's get rid of the legend. Uh, let's start on the primary horizontal axis. I don't need a horizontal axis at all, so we'll get rid of that one that was down there. On the vertical axis, let's see. I'm going to make, I'm going to fix it at zero and make the maximum 100 percent completion and then um, let's see what else we need to do okay so we're, we're getting a little bit closer there we let's get rid of this blue that blue really looks out of place so we're gonna go to format data series and this let's see if I can drag this way out of the way for a minute see how there is a huge gap between my chart what I'm plotting and the rest of my chart this gap here as compared to here, there's there's none. And the way to get rid of that is format data series. We're going to get rid of this gap. Make that zero, and then it only drags us out of the way again. See now it goes from wall to wall or side to side, if you will. And now my series is where I want it. Let's change the fill. I have a gradient fill, and it's going to remember the one I did last time. If um, I look at preset colors, you'll see I'm picking this one. It's called fire, and then what we can do is you can control when it changes from yellow to orange to red if you want. And I'm just going to leave what I have there and say thanks for that. I'm going to take, let's do a border color around my data series and I'm going to make it orange like that. Close that. Now, now, now I'm getting closer. Um, let's see how these are in kind of a red color here. Let's highlight this. Go to the home tab and we'll make that the same color. Now what we need to do is see these. Let's get rid of these lines going across. So I'm going to go back to the layout tab, and let's go to axes and the primary vertical axes. Let's do some things like this. Okay, what do we want? The line color. I want a solid line, and it's remember an orange from the last one I did, and I'm okay with that. And so. Now I've got this and that colors there, like kind of the orange color that I have over here, but I want to get rid of these grid lines. So let's go to grid lines, vertical grid lines, and those are none, horizontal lines, those are none. Now we're a lot closer. Now what we have is we have this orange. One of the things you may find helpful as you try to follow along, this will show you what I have in my chart. I have a chart area, which is the whole area, the plot area which is that. I have a value axis there and my series which I call EHR implementation progress over there. So I'm pretty close. What I need here is, see now it's selected the plot area for me. Let's format that selection. I want a border, a solid line. We'll make it orange like we had before. Now if we take this and we drag it over here that's a little bit smaller. If you want, you can make 
let's format and take the plot area and we can make this plot area a little bit wider if you want if you prefer that and have a little more space there if you don't like that if you like what we had before we can undo and keep that plot area kind of small if you prefer it just depends on how much space you have in your dashboard but that's what I wanted to walk through today so now when I change this 83 percent done no I'm 14 percent done we can make these charts go up and down for us and kind of do whatever you want the other thing you could do and this is the last thing I want to show you today is when you're doing one of these you could easily do a thing like maybe abstract charts is what you want to do and let's just slide this guy out of the way for a minute no I don't want to do that I want to select We'll drag this out of the way for a minute. We could do something like this, maybe make it a little bit smaller. Maybe abstract charts. You could put some milestones in here, and maybe this milestone is select EHR, and we could take this and format it like that. And we could put milestones along the way, or you know, maybe abstract charts. You know, maybe maybe that's one of the last things we do, or you know, you can easily put some benchmarks in along here and we could make them the same color as the the axis over here so you know maybe now we know we're not just 15 percent of the way done but hey we have selected an EHR or whatever that's another way to maybe put a little more information into this thermometer chart hope that was helpful for you stay tuned I've got a bunch more different types of charts saved out here that you may find helpful as we get a little fancier into charting now thanks for watching